I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write an algebraic expression for the given description of pattern blocks. So it is an activity which you can do along with me. The question here is write an algebraic expression for each description for the pattern rule given to you. The pattern rule is the number of blocks is sum of figure number and 2. So what we will do here is we will make a couple of figures. Let us say we have the first figure, so figure number 1 and then we have figure number 2 and then we can have figure number 3 and so on, right? So you can make 5 figures for this particular description. The description here is that the number of blocks is sum of figure number and 2. So sum of figure number and 2, it means what? Think about it. Pause the video. Make uh, take some blocks. So let us say we take one block which is a square block, and we are saying number of blocks is sum of figure number and two. And two means always two. So and two. Let us say and two. So and two. Okay. And two. Okay. And what is changing here is figure number is changing. Okay. So what we will do? We'll take figure number as 1 here so means 1 circle, 2 here means 2 circle, 3 here means 3 circles. So now I have my pattern. So I have 3 blocks to start with then 4 and then 5 and so on. So my blocks are uh, 2 more than the figure number right. So they are 2 more than the figure number. Do you see that? Can that help you to write the algebraic expression? Think about it, right? And write down an algebraic expression. So you can definitely do it from this figure. Another way to do it is you can make a T table. Now in the T table, write down the figure numbers, right? Let's say figure numbers are 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then write the number of blocks. So let's write the number of blocks. Total number of blocks are 3, 4 and 5. What do we see? We see that each time the number of blocks increase by 1. So it is increasing by 1 each time. So times 1. That should give you the equation. So can you write down the equation using this pattern? So let me show you. If it is increasing by 1, I should multiply by 1. What is 1 times 1? 1 times 1 is 1. How do you get 3? Well, we can add 2 to it. Okay. What is 1 times 2? 1 times 2 is 2. How do you get 4? Add 2 to it. Good. So my pattern is 1 times n plus what? Plus 2. That gives me the equation. Normally, in algebraic equation, we do not write times. And 1 times, no need. We can write just n plus 2. So the expression n plus 2 seems to be good for this. Let us see if my pattern blocks which I have sketched work accordingly. 2 is fixed number of blocks. I have 2 greens everywhere. n is changing. 1 which is same as the figure number 2, same as the figure number 3, same as the figure number. So this algebraic expression actually works to describe the description which is given to us. Correct? If I write 1 for n, what do I get? Let me calculate. So if I write 1, I get 1 plus 2, which is 3. So I get 3 blocks. Correct? If I write 2, I get 2 plus 2, which is 4. So I have 4 blocks. If I write 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5 blocks here. So this algebraic expression is just the right expression for the given description. Now here is a question for you to do. The question is how many blocks will there be in figure 50? Right? So Figure it out and then write down your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.